Morning again. Okay, so Johan did the intro just to let you know where we are off to for our week break. We are on our way to a place which is called Machubas Wurf. It's a pass which is in the Limpopo province. So how are you going to get to Machubas Wurf um, if you were normal Bali from the south like I am? Sleep. Jump into the car and sleep and let somebody else drive. But if you're not, what you're going to do is you're going to get onto the R721 and this is a road that's going to take you from um, Johannesburg into Limpopo and Mkhobas Kloof is situated on the road between Zanin and Palopane. See you guys soon! Welcome to Heinensburg. We're a bit early for our accommodation, so we thought we would check out the little town. We found this hiking trail that we'll probably come do tomorrow, so stay tuned. Okay, so we've reached our destination. We're going to be staying at the Viewpoint Cottage for a few days. This is our quaint accommodation. So let's go in and see what it has in store for us. Okay, quite, quite, quite quaint. Okay, so the cottage is a duplex. It has a really, really nice kitchen. Going around, you've just got, in addition to the kitchen, a really lovely fireplace. That is so, so cool. Okay, let's take a walk upstairs. This is really, really awesome. Good morning. It was a cold night in the mountains. Time for some nice warm coffee. It was night and it was day and this morning we're doing the Louis Shangwan hiking trail. The trail was laid out in 1993 and it is one of the few misty grasslands in the area. Most of it had been converted into agricultural land and commercial forestry. Here we go. 
Here we are with the endangered grasslands. This first spot is pretty steep. So I would say that the trails are quite well marked but I would also suggest maybe just taking a picture of the map at the start with your phone and then using some application of map and common sense. We did almost take a few wrong turns so far but um, yeah like I said just look at where the trail is and also just look at the map and then decide should I go left or should I go right. These are peppercorns. These are? No. Why not? They're not peppercorns. Wouldn't have believed. just there. Came all the way down Sadi Slope. I think we're gonna go all the way back there. Here we are now. We are making our way back to town through the endangered grassland forest. And although it is beautiful, the trees are very few and far in between. Almost back at Heinertsburg. There you could see it in all of its glory. There is a food zone, there is a pancake place, and there is a few restaurants. That's Done and right. dusted, back to Heinertsburg Main Road. And it's time for a nice cup of coffee. Good morning. We woke up to another overcast day. Um, so we're deciding to do some touristy stuff. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go into the town. And we can go to the Long Tom Monument. See you there now. So this is the Heinertsburg War Memorial and the Long Tom Monument.
the last long term was destroyed on the 30th of April 1901, about 100 meters up this hill. The remnant was then moved to the city town, and that would be the monument that we've seen earlier. So after many, many, many wrong turns and many, many, many dead-end little forestry roads, we eventually found the Machubaskloof Hiking Trail Waterfall Hut. We are 1,859 meters above sea level at a point which is called World's View and true to its name, a panoramic scenery of forest that surrounds us. This is the other side of world's view from the other side of the world. We are on our way to Debengeni waterfall and the road is very very rocky. The mighty Debengeni fall. Debengeni falls is definitely one of the highlights of the Mokobos Curve area. Now, although I think we probably took one of the more adventurous routes, just plan your route accordingly. Some of the routes definitely need a high clearance vehicle. Good morning, a bright and early morning. Uh, today's our last day, and um, we all know that the closest distance between any two places in the country is through the Kruger National Park. So that's where we're going today. 